Oh, hey, guess what? It's me, and we're here for another video. Thanks for being here, I love it. Um, if you've been following this progression today, we, uh, yesterday we were talking about addition. Today we are gonna talk about subtraction. And we're gonna talk about, again, another uh, method in which we can subtract, and that's the idea of using a base 10 model. So again, we've looked at how to do this with uh, addition. Now we're gonna think about subtraction. Of course, you know, I like to break down these words. So again, subtraction, we are minusing or taking away. And that is that key word of finding the difference, right? What is the difference between the numbers? And we do so by subtracting. And then again, base 10 is that idea of how do we model the idea of like, okay, well, if I have one, I do a little dot, right? I do a long, if I have 10, and draw this, if I have 100, you know, right? So how do we take these numbers and model them and then put them out to find the difference? Uh, similar to the steps with addition, maybe a little bit different per se, like a lot kind of like how we use the number line, like some of the rules are the same and some of them are a little different and you just kind of have to remember what to do and how to do it. So let's dive in. Uh, let's take 82 and we're going to take uh, the, 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 oh, the, the 51. I don't know why that just says, oh, here I'll squeeze it in there. 51 away. Okay, so here's where things get a little different. First, like we did before, we're going to build our place value chart, right? So we're going to build our chart. Um, and if you remember with addition, we model both numbers, but today we're actually only going to model the first number, or if your numbers are stacked, right? If it's written this way, that's the top number. Okay, so you're actually only going to model your first, okay? So build your chart, model your first number only, and then this is where it's a little different, right? There, this is where we then subtract or take away or cross out the second number. And you'll see, I'll show you. So don't worry if you're like reading this and you're like, wait, what? And then this is actually the fourth step, but we know this one and that's where we just have to count what's left to get our difference. That is the sloppy four, let me fix that. All right, so that's the process. So let's play that. Let's do it. I'm going to build a little space here just so we can do the work. So we have 82. We're going to take 51 away. So I'm going to build my chart first. Okay, so my ones and my tens. Okay, and then I notice here, right, this new step is actually only the first number I'm going to model. So that would be two ones, one, two and eight tens or eight groups of 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or eight tens. Okay, so there's the first number it's modeled. Now this is where we actually only subtract the second number and I can just use place value to do that. If I look in 51, I see there's a one in the ones place. So I'm gonna cross out one. I see that there's five in the tens place. So I'm gonna cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. And now we just go back and count what's left. So I have one here and I have three here. So my answer is 31, right? So you see that process, see how I'm doing that? Build the chart, only model the first number, right? Again, it's a little different than addition. Subtract the second number by crossing them out, right? And then we just count what's left over. So 82 minus 51 gives me 31. So let's play with another one. Let's, let's do that. Uh, why, don't, why don't you take uh, 56 and let's subtract 44. Okay, so same steps. Here we go. Think about it. We're going to take and we are going to model, build our, excuse me, build our chart. So ones and tens. Okay, and now we model only the first number. Right, so that means I have six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have 50 or five tens, five groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, 
now we subtract the second one by just crossing out. So if I look in my ones place, I need to cross out four ones. One, two, three, four. And then I need to cross out four tens. One, two, three, four. And now we can just count what's left. I see I have two left here, one left here. So my answer is 12. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's keep going with it. Let's keep practicing. Let's keep having some fun. So let's do another one. Let's say here I have 73 and I'm going to take away 59. Okay. We got this. We're rolling. Life feels good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my chart. All right, I'm going to chart this out. So we have the ones, we have the tens. Okay, great. I'm going to model, but only the first number. Okay, so that's three ones and 70. So that's seven groups. So one, let's start with the ones, one, two, three. And then seven ten, seven groups of ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, great. This is wonderful. All right, now we are going to subtract or cross out the second number. Number, sorry, shorthand. Okay, so with 59, that'd be nine ones and five tens. Right here. Sorry, that's kind of sloppy. Let's fix that. Okay, so nine ones. So here we go. One, two, three. Wait, what? Hey, wait, what? Wait, huh? <laughs> I only have three. It wants me to subtract nine. I can't wait. Okay, wait. All right, let's rethink this. Something's coming up here. All right. So I notice in my ones place, I actually only have three ones. I need to take nine away. That doesn't work, does it? Like if I have $3 in my pocket, I cannot buy something for $9. It does not work. But just like we thought about base 10 before, like with addition, where we can make these groups of 10, we can actually do what we call decomposing, which is breaking apart a 10. So since I need ones, right? I need more ones in there. I'm going to decompose. So this is something we're going to keep in mind. Notice now there's like a little thing to say, oh, sometimes we might have to decompose our number. So if we do that, we want to think about what we can do by breaking apart a 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10, I'm going to cross it out, and I'm going to turn it into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because that's what that is. A ten is the same thing as ten one. So I've taken that ten and I broke it apart. Now let's go back and see if we can take our nine away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, I could do it. Which means I'm left with one, two, three, four. Cool. All right. Let's go into the tens place now and take five away. I already took this one away. So that one, I don't count that. That one's already gone. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, and that leaves me with one left. So I get 14. So when I take 73 and I take 59 away, I'm only to get 14. Oh, I guess, sorry. I forgot that step. I forgot to write it. This is where we're counting. And the counting actually is going to come after we do any like decomposing if we need to. Okay, so there we go. That happened. No worries. We got a strategy. We know what we could do. So let's continue the process. Um, I'm going to take 50 and let's take away 30 to the four. Okay. All right. So step, step, steps. First step, make your model or your frame or your chart. I guess we should use all those different terms. So I have a ones place and I have the tens. Okay, step two, only model the first number. So what's interesting here is I actually have zero ones. So actually there's nothing here. I don't, there's nothing to put there. So that stays empty. And then I have 
five, 50, or five groups of 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's actually what 50 looks like model. Notice again, there's nothing in my ones place. Okay, well, now let's cross out our second number. So let's focus on the ones place. We gotta come over here and we're gonna cross out four ones. But there is not four ones to cross out. They're not there. So we're going to decompose. I'm going to take this 10. I'm going to break it apart and turn it into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to take out four. One, two, three, four. That means I have one, two, three, four, five, and six left. Okay. Tens place, we need three, so let's get rid of those. Remember, I already used this one. I do not count that. I just start fresh with three. So one, two, three. And we got one left, so we get 16. All right, that's making some sense. It's feeling good. We got this. So we have to think about how sometimes we can just take numbers away. It will work. And other times we won't have enough to take away, so we have to decompose, which means breaking apart a 10 into 10 ones. And as we get into bigger numbers, we might have to decompose and break apart 100 into 10 tens, right? Those types of things. So we're going to keep that in mind as we roll. And speaking of rolling, let's do one more. Let's do it. Uh, let's say 80. You know what? Let's play. Let's do it. Let's say 183. Yeah, I know. I said it. And let's go ahead and take away um, 68 from that number. OK, right? Here's that thing about when we think about our steps. If we follow our steps, we're going to be fine. Yeah, the numbers change. Yeah, now I have 100. But it doesn't change what I do, right? It just changes what I model. I just have to model more. Not a big deal. So step one, we're going to make my chart. But notice this time, I'm going to need three place values. So I'm going to take my chart like this. And now I have the ones. I have the tens. And now I have a hundreds place. That's okay, right? That's okay. I can do that. It's not a big deal. We can manage that. Okay, so now I'm gonna only model the first number. So that's a three. This is an 80. And this is a one in the hundreds place. So that's a 100. Okay, so I have three in the ones place, one, two and three. I have 80, so eight groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have a hundred. I just have 100 and we can just show 100 like that. That's just one of them, right? If I had 200, I'd draw two squares. If I had 300, I'd draw three squares. But remember these squares, they equal 100. That's what they are. Okay, cool. So that worked. Like nothing, the world didn't fall apart. I'm good. Okay, so now let's take 68 and we're gonna we're gonna cross that out, right? So we gotta cross out eight. Okay, well there aren't eight. There aren't eight here. I'm not even worried about that anymore because now I know I can decompose. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cross out this 10 and I'm gonna make it 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take eight away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That leaves me with one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And now let's go and cross out six tens. Let's see, can we do that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, cool, we can. And that leaves me with one. So one, and then on the hundreds, notice there's nothing here for me to take away. I don't have to do anything to this. I just count it. I have a 100. I have one of them. So nothing ever happened to it, which means my answer is going to be 115. Okay, we got this. So as always, like, thank you. Keep trying, keep working, use that scratch paper, do these things, see what you can do, learn from the mistakes, no big deal. It's all about putting in the effort, right? And so Again, I encourage you to try this out. Remember the difference between how we add using base 10 and how we subtract using base 10. Practice both of those so you can remember to understand what steps to do when. 
And as always, thanks for your hard work. And we will see you at the next video.